some days you just have to get up in the bamboo trees, pull out your bucket of milk, drink the whole bucket of milk, and everything is good. Hello everyone, we're going to play some more Magic Maiden today. The world is loading in, the sky is nice and green. Why is the sky green? I'm in a jungle right now. I think Biomes of Plenty does something to the jungle to make it nice and green. Because if I pop over here, uh, how do I get down? You know what? I fly! And yeah, now it's blue. But if we go to the... Whoa! Ah! Hi! I have maids. We go over here. Green. Blue. Green. Blue. Green. So, I wanted some helpers. Actually, I wanted to get started on my Elite Maid Force, but I figured I could have some helpers. And it turned out quite interesting. I haven't given them names yet. Uh, yesterday, I actually got into this nice kind of mood where I was just sitting here and I was playing and I was watching some videos and doing a bit of busy work. Then I'd add on a little bit over here, a little bit over there, a little bit over there. And by the time I was done, something looked completely different. Yeah. There's some green sheep down there, and this. I have enough Spanish moss to... You know, I don't even really know. I have enough Spanish moss to cover this thing anyway. Uh, let's take a look inside. It's a bit different in here. I got a ceiling on here, and... The walls are heavy. It's light gray, white, light gray, white. They have a checkerboard pattern. There we go. And all of the doors have their own door now. The doors are color coded depending on which side you're coming out. The chandeliers are in the roof above it because right here. Ooh, can I get one? It gets in the way. Oh, ah, come on, up, oh. hey, you know what, I need a couple more of these so I can just make a couple more, uh, diamonds, gold, and torches, chandelier, oh, that's not what I wanted, recipe, there we go, whoa, I don't need quite that many, I want five of them now. Here we go. Give me my items, please. And if you put it right here, well, while that looks nice, uh, it gets in the way of the door. So they just went above. Now, up here doesn't look too different. In fact, there's actually nothing on the roof right now. I'm planning on putting another floor up here. I don't know exactly what I would use the storage space for, though. Maybe I will just put a sort of outlook up here? I kind of want to make a really big, tall tower. But I'm not sure that's the best idea. I don't know what I would put up here other than a big square. Let's see, down below... Oh, down. Thank you. Down below, there's just empty space. I got all of these sides put out. I think I'm going to have a whole bunch of stone and wood, and this will be my bulk storage. So when I want this cobblestone, which I keep getting tons of, then I will just go get it. Let's see. Now that way's out to the bamboo forest. Let's go out here. And... I took down the jungle and replaced it with these hawthorn trees. It's a little bit dangerous in here. Ow! Ow! Ah. Okay, now I gotta fix the ground. There was hawthorn trees out here, and that was supposed to be... Ah. You know, I grabbed my frostbite spell. I want to go replace that today. I... I happened to lose my digging spell and my lightning spell completely. And I haven't played with the Arch Magicka spells for a little while, anyway. 
There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Here. Why, dude? Get out of the hole, please. You know what? I'll just leave the hole over there. Now, there's a little path here. Hey, spider. Spider, you're ruining my... My thingy. My thingy. There's a little path here leading to... A hut. And this is a copy of the house on the witchery post. It's not quite done yet. There's a, a row and door here. You can't click on it. There's one way to get inside. This is kind of like hiding a door key under a rock. But there's a case back here. And you just grab the door key and... Voila! I can just pop inside and nothing can get in. Kind of useless for single player world, but still nice. I got my my thing. What is this? Witch's oven. I can never remember the words. I just remember there's an oven with a, a pipe on it. There's a potion brewing stand. I figured I might need those. I'm still missing a couple of the things in here. I've got the... The different kinds of fumes in here, Whiff of Magic. I don't have all of them. These are the basic ones that you can get. I also grabbed the books. Uh, we'll look at those shortly. But first, I want to go replace my spells. Diggy diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I diggy diggy hole. Gosh. Now that that's been accomplished, I think I'm going to take these chandeliers and hang them up around the forest just a bit. That way, we don't have things like the Doom Creeper spawning. Uh, there. Oh, and the spider. Doom Creeper. Whoops. Hitting the maids, hitting the maids. Ah. Come on. You know what? Just run. Run away. Ah. You are supposed to be protecting me. Or am I supposed to protect them? I don't know anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, one of you doesn't have sugar. You don't have sugar, and you've only got a bit. Ah. Yeah, I want to keep the place nice and dark, but I still want to have... Whoa, giant zombie. I still want to have... What the... What did I do to you? It's, I don't even know. There we go. Okay, so gunpowder does something interesting to the maids. Let's make it daytime. And let's try this again. I can't put this on the leaves. It's in whoa, oh, oh, don't walk on the essence berries. Ah. And it's so dark down here. I want it to stay dark, but I don't want things to be spawning. Is the key? Whoa, jumping creeper. Hi. And I'm out of mana. Ah, yeah, punch, punch. Okay, I need a weapon. I need an actual weapon because this thing is. Yeah. There's a staff. I hit with my staff. Eat staff. It does a whole lot of no damage. Ow! The little spiders, they're just way too small. Hey, I want some food that's going to give me health boost. Ah. Uh. Okay, that should be good, hopefully. So I want to play around with witchery some more. I need to get back in here. I've locked myself in the witchery hut, and well, I think we're gonna move on to distilling. To do that, we'll need a distillery, and I've prepared a few materials over here. We will need eh. the crafting table is right off to the side. We'll need uh, a few of these. 
It's a tuned stone. I'm not sure exactly what it does. It needs whiff of magic, diamond, and a lava bucket. Uh, whiff of magic. And we'll just take this and do this new. It doesn't like me. There we go. Which means it probably won't like this either. So we'll just grab these and... One distillery. And we'll put this right here. Oh, that's interesting. It's... I need like a furnace under it. Or a stove. It needs to heat up and put some liquid in here and it'll go bloop, whoosh. I need to put something like a bottle under there too. And it looks like I need some jars, recipes. It's gonna have some kind of output. A clay jar. I guess we're gonna need a whole bunch of these. Quick lime, foul fume. We need some oil of virachol. Tear of the goddess. Ooh, diamond. What is that? Diamond vapor. Odor of purity. Looks like you take some of these and you make them into one thing. This oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol. Like, you take the foul fume and you get vitriol, and then you get it this, and you put it in here with this, and diamond vapor makes reek of misfortune. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, ender pearls. Need more jars. Ender dew, whiff of magic. Glowstone dust. Oh, that's nice. You get some reek of misfortune. You can actually make glowstone dust. Okay. I think I want to make some of that. Demonic blood. Ooh. <laughs> I need a demon heart. How do you get a demon heart? Refined evil? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to boil some evil. I think we can start with this simple one. Let's get some blaze powder and some gunpowder and some jars. I don't want to make too many of these. I have a whole bunch of gunpowder sitting around, though. Oop. Blaze powder. There, it should be good. I wonder if this is... Oh. Okay, what's going on? Ensure the distillery is near to an altar to get power. I have no altar. Oh. Uh, there's an altar? Exhale of the Horned One, Breath of the Goddess, Ruin Wood. Let me go grab those. I'm gonna make a couple of these. It eats the bottle, that's lovely. I guess I can just go put these somewhere outside. Let's put it right over here. Uh, yeah, this looks good. I think you have to put these together. Aha! Altar has 905. Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, is this close enough to the distillery? No. Oh, we can always fix that. How to make it close enough? You just pop the distillery right on top of it. I kind of want some light over here now. There we go. And we just put some clay jars up here. And some blaze powder. Some gunpowder. That's how it's supposed to go, right? Yeah. And then we wait about 20 seconds and we get Reek of Misfortune and some Blowstone Dust. Nice. Okay. What can I do with this? Tool protection poppet. That's interesting. Alderwood door. Water artichoke. Mandrake. Tree fed seed. And there's some weird things in this mod. What is this poppet? Poppet. Need some Spanish moss. Earth protection poppet. Water protection poppet. Hunger protection poppet. Voodoo protection puppet. Nine <laughs> voodoo fire. Or do these? How does these protect you? Puppet protection puppet. Well, I'm thinking that some of these are for voodoo puppet. 
Oh, oh, I gotta make one of these. I got, I, I have some cows. If I can take the cow and I can, <laughs> okay, what do I need? Need some Spanish moss and string, a bone needle, bone flint. And that takes a while. Okay, need a bone and I need to go get a cow to mutilate. Where would I get these things? String, it's a bone and some flint. Uh, bone needle. Do these do damage? Can I? Hi. I'm gonna use you as an experiment. Okay. It only does one damage. Uh, string would be in here? Yes. I need some wool. I guess I need some shears because I'm gonna need the Spanish moss. I didn't think I'd need that thing for much, but... Well... Let's go out here. I'll just carve off a little bit of this off the wall. Here, sheep. Maybe I should inflict pointy death on the sheep. I wonder if it needs white wool, or if it can use any kind of wool. Moo. Okay, uh, puppet. Taglock kit. Might need white wool. I can go get a white sheep. Bone needle. And... Spanish moss. It does need white wool. And... I get some bone meal, right? Bah! Bah! I should really separate these guys into separate colors. There we go. White wool only. One puppet. And voodoo puppet. Oh. Okay. How do. Need some exhale of the horned one, belladonna, fermented spider eye, and mandrake root. Belladonna. Mandrake root. Whoa. What the heck? Ah, I got attacked. Oh my, what the? Ah. Why uh, I can't see anything. Why? Yeah. And that always makes me dizzy. Fermented spider eye. And exhale of the horned one. By your powers combined, I am Captain Voodoo. Okay, how do I use this? Do I... Ooh. Uh, I need a cow. Here, cow. Here, cow. Rah. Um, how do I... That isn't working. Um, cow, 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 cow. Nope. Well, how do I attach a thing with needles sticking to it into one of these cows here? Or that sheep. That sheep's in the cow pen. You're gonna pay, sheep. For getting out of your pen. A quick glance at the wiki has shown me that I need a taglock kit, which is simply a glass bottle and one of these bone needles put together. And then you go right click on the mob. Sheep. Sheep taglock kit. And then you put these together and voodoo pop it for the sheep. Hey, sheep! Ha. Huh. The thing got damaged, but... Um... Huh. A sheep. Oh, oh, hey, that way. Over there. In the sky. Ha. Huh. What about this? Oh! <laughs> Holding shift, you can... Stab. Stab. Hush. Take my needles. Take my needles. Stabity! Stabity doom! <laughs> uh, I do enjoy stabbing the sheep in the morning. These guys are really loud. Hmm. 
I think there's a rain muffler. Muffler. Sound muffler, rain muffler. Yeah, we just need a note block and some lime, some wool. Okay, so let's go grab some more wool off the sheep. And we'll make it so these things never talk again. Hey! Bad skeleton. Ah, run! Run! Ah. Uh, Okay, so we just need to get back inside. The nasty monsters don't get me. It appears that I need to spread... Well, that was weird. Oh, these drawbridges have elevator capabilities now. They push you up and they pull you down, and if you're still between them, they still squish you. Okay, so I think a note block is just some sticks. And a piece of redstone. No. Maybe it's planks. That's a chest. There's a note block. Let me do this. And this gives sound. You can probably spread this around in more places. Also, the rain muffler... I think it only does rain. Which means I could have one for just the animals, and then one for... Hey! Don't take damage like that! Okay. Ah. Uh, well, it's quieter. This thing seems to have a range out to about here. So I'm gonna need another one. Boop! And... Huh. It even does what I'm hitting it with. Boop. Now you shall never be loud, animals. Never again. Is that sheep still in here? Yes, it is. <laughs> A sheep. Boop. Can I, like, throw it in the air? Sort of. If I hold shift. <laughs> You can take these tag lock kits and you can go get things from people's beds, which means you could just get this and attach it to a person and you could stab them randomly and be like, what the heck is happening to me? Of course, if they can't regenerate, then they just die. But and it's such a good way to torture people. <laughs> yeah. uh, daytime, please come to me. Now, I've made a couple more tag lock kits. I think these should be attached to me now. Yes. They are attached to me. Wow. There we go. And I've got more materials to make a couple more poppets. I'm going to come over here and... Ah! Why does it have a hat? Sheesh. Where's my key? Close the door. Nothing else can get in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a poppet shelf. And we're gonna put some poppets on there. This should stay loaded. Anything that I put on there and attach to myself should uh, protect me from things. So we'll just uh there we go. It's got room for nine poppets, it looks like. So I need a few more po of the puppets see. themselves. I see. Ooh. I see. Oh, that's her. There we go. And... Huh. I think these protect you from forms of death. Death protection puppet. This one looks like it protects you from every kind. Tool protection puppet. Vampiric puppet. Now this one looks fun. Oh, what I think I'm gonna do is, these maids keep taking damage, and I could siphon off anything that happens to me onto the maids. Wool of bat. That's strange. Diamond vapor. Okay, I don't have that. I guess these can wait for another day, and you're due. I'm gonna have to distill more Items. Wool of bat. Can I shear a bat and get wool off of it? 
<laughs> it's got no recipe. This is a voodoo protection puppet. I don't need to worry about that. Hunger, blistering melon, water artichoke. This one I could probably make. I don't drown very often, though. Earth protection puppet. Yeah, let's make the earth, the water, and maybe the fire? Hunger. Is there a fire one? Yeah. Though that requires wool of bat. Wait a minute. The mutandus. There's two kinds of them. I never tried mutating an animal either. Do I have any of this stuff left? Probably not. Let's go get some. Woosha. Okay. Uh, let's not try mutating the little maid. Is there? This is zombie. Hi, zombie. Hey, you want to get mutated? I can't mutate the zombie. Uh, okay, let's try the sheep. Oh, oh, can I mutate you? Get back here. Yeah. No. Hi, sheep. How's it going? Sheep, sheep, sheep. No. Cows? Bah. Okay, the normal stuff does not cut it. Let's try... Mutandus Extremis! Okay. Uh... Let's try this on some things first. First, the zombie. Hey, zombie. How's it going? Hi. Ow! Does not do a thing to the zombie. That's too bad. How about this Spanish moss? No. Okay, maybe this one doesn't work how I thought it would. Nothing to that, nothing to that. Sheep and cows? I just want to mutate you. What would I turn a cow into? A sheep? Okay, this doesn't work. Why would you take damage? Okay, this one obviously doesn't work how I thought it would. That's too bad. Water artichokes are the strangest plants. You have to put them on water, and then you get more water, and seeds, and... Well, apparently this is like farmland to them. One earth protection puppet. And one water protection puppet. I think this goes like this. Ooh, where did... That's strange. That is really strange. There we go. And I'll just craft this with myself. So this protects me. And this one's not bound. So I'll craft this together. And that protects me as well. And then I think... I have to carry these, or I have to put them on this shelf. But this shelf will stay loaded all the time. It's like a chunk loader. So I should be protected from death by water and death by earth, which means suffocation and drowning. I'm not sure if that applies to Ars Magica spells or not. There's something out here. Hey, zombie. Well, I have done quite a bit with witchery today. I am enjoying the mod so far. It feels like there's a... It feels like knowledge that should be passed along, and it isn't the kind of thing that I would have in-game, actually. I don't say this about many things, because I feel that almost everything needs to be documented in-game, but this one feels like the art of witchcraft should not be put in game because it's supposed to be passed from person to person as a social activity instead of a a game activity although when you're by yourself you have to either figure it out on your own or there is the wiki i would suggest some kind of better documentation than the books here because this is just there's the instructions and then you put these two items together, and that's what you get. You need Breath of the Goddess and Lapis Lazuli, which is nice. I That's there for people who don't have any eye, and I can... I'm down with that. I got my own form of that, but... I just feel like it's not enough. Like I wouldn't know how to put the altar together, 
and I wouldn't know what the poppets did and how you do it, how to make the tag lock kit. It's all the pieces. There's a puzzle that you just need to do for all of these. And, well, it's not like the maids where you can just give them things and they run off and attack things for you. <laughs> well, that is enough for one day. Thank you all for watching and... Do the head bob! You know you like being the crazy squid. You know you love it.